Hey what's up guys I hope you all are having a great day welcome to this brand new episode of our channel and today we will see how we can build this website with react so it's nothing but a web portfolio websites for a photographer and it's just a simple website I just wanted to show you how you can use Pixabay API with uh, react JS and uh, yeah that's all I think I want to show you and yeah we're gonna just build the whole thing here and uh, if, I sh if you see this we are using some interval and some code here to have this dynamic background also we have this about section with some little text and all and we'll be using bootstrap 5 for the design and also react router DOM for the navigation and all and a whole lot more things like hooks and state to do some work with apis and all there will be two part of this video the first part i'm today i'm going to show you how you can build this from the scratch and i'll show you the whole design today and in next video i'll show you how you can deploy this site for free on the server so that's for the next video and for the source code i'll add link in description so feel free to check it out and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel if you are new here and let me know in the comment section what you think about my channel and what you think about this video and if you like it or not okay. so yeah that's it and i hope you will enjoy this so let's get started before I start the project, let me show you what I have done till yet and that's nothing but I've just created the project with npm create react app as you can see and here's that comment and after that I have uh, you know changed the directory to the project directory and install the react router tom to use react router tom and yes that's pretty much everything I have done till yet and I have just started the server with yarn start and it's right now running on localhost 3000 so now let's just set up our project and for that I'll go to the Visual Studio code. Let me minimize this and I'll delete some unnecessary file from the source folder. And the first thing I'm going to delete is this app.test. And now we'll get some error and to remove it, we'll just go to the JS file. And here we are going to remove two lines and also we'll remove total header. Let's just say one h1 with the hello world. save it so great we are kind of ready with our setup now it's time to uh, use bootstrap 5 as a css framework so first let's just copy this uh, css file and i link it on public and index here i have a title paste it here great after that i'll add this JSS. we have to add this js file and that will be end of the body that will be here let's set and we'll change this name Let's call it photographer portfolio. Let's save this. And we are kind of ready with our project. And here it is. So let's just let's see if uh, the bootstrap is working or not. And for that, we'll go to app.js and we'll change this app name to container. And yes, it's working fine. So now one thing I'll do, and that is I'll just go to CSS and here. I have some code in my repositories and I'll add it here and you can also get the source code I'll add the link in description so just let me copy this from my repository and I'll add it here these are kind of, uh, I have a little bit uh, you know CSS files I don't want to write it all and waste your time so yeah so let me just paste it here and here it is don't worry I'll just I'll tell you what we have here so first as you can see we have our fonts here with few font family Julius Sans one and lecton and pacifico also after that we have some body and one extra thing i have added in and it's the pretty much default body and the extra thing i have added here is this overflow access hidden here after that we have this body to display now so that we just it just, it just remove the scroll bar then we have this code thing again which is the default one after that we have some class style and and i have written it in alphabetic order so that i can understand it properly first time in my life <laughs> so first we have this button custom so it's a custom button then we have this button custom hover effect and after that and there the difference you will see that we have some background color and all otherwise it's pretty much same the font and the size then we have this container background with a linear gradient color so that we can get a background color don't worry i'll show you the implementation and then you will understand it properly but right now just keep these things in mind so that you can uh, go through with it after that we have this container tm and that is top margin so i changed it 
to padding so don't judge me for that so here we you can do this tp so i'll just keep it tm and there we have a padding top of 150 pixel after that we have a custom font for our font then we have this custom font white which is custom font with the color white then we have a fa which is nothing but a, our nothing but uh, our icons you know fa icons font awesome then we have a fa higher because we have a section which is higher me section and there we have all the icons with you know hiring so i'll i named it fa higher after that we have after that we have fa signature which is nothing but our logo then we have hr which is you know down the line nature and i just gave it a color and width so that i it, it became a little bit smaller than its usual size then we have this image gallery as you can see and a hover effect it's actually for the filter it's grayscale and it's none then we have this navbar with a background color and a para which is nothing but a paragraph and after that we are ending styling our classes here and then we have this these are also class but these are for the background images first one is bg background image and the second one is parallax effect so yeah these are pretty much every css we will be using for our project i'm gonna just save this file and let's see how we can implement it in our project but before start i'm gonna just create some folders the first folder will be the pages now we have home components and about components and components folder so inside components folder we need some common components and first one is navbar components so yeah we are kind of ready here and but before we start let me just add two pages here which is the first thing we need first one is and let me just make them to the functional component first one is rfc like this second this one rfc before we start modifying them i am just gonna add the router in our app component so let's do that first react router dom after browser router we need route and then we need switch so yeah and i'm just gonna delete this part we'll start with browser router let me close it after that we need switch and then we need route now here inside route we need a path which should be exact because it's going to be the home page the exact path is going to be home page so yeah we'll just probably import it and we will gonna do the same thing with about it's not going to be the exact path it's gonna be slash about and we'll call it about page okay so now we are done with setting up our app.js then let's just go to app uh, home page and here let's give it a h1 tag and let's call it home page just for a demonstration purpose so that we can understand what we are doing here and here with h1 we are gonna call it about page okay, let's save this and let's see okay so now we have home page here if uh, if we go to about slash about should see the about page and yes it's working fine so if we go yeah it's working perfectly so yeah we are kind of ready with our route setup and now let's uh, start the design so let's just design the number first and to design the number we'll go to this number component and i will create a rfc functional component and here i'm just gonna copy delete this thing and copy the bootstrap 5 number if you are not familiar with that just go to this uh, go to this uh, bootstrap uh, documentation and here inside components you will find out number here as you can see yeah, and you have lots of options here so feel free to check it out but i have already copied it so let me paste it here so as you can see we have a number number like and it, it's a fixed number so fixed top with uh, you know the class names then we uh, have this division with class name of container fluid and container so that it makes it a little bit smaller then we have this anchor tag with my name here so it's nothing but uh, you can think of it like a name plan and the logo so then we have a toggler button for you know, you know mobile view and all 
and then we just have two links here first one is a home which is using this link and let me just import link here so that it doesn't give me any error link from reactor.com let me save it so this is the link we are using and here we are using this two for the home one and for about we are using slash about so yeah it's kind of a pretty much simple if you are familiar with react router so it will be easy for you to understand and if you are not i do have another course on react so feel free to check it out so but for it it's quite easy and as you can see i have this email auto in this uh, ul tag and, and that's to keep the links in on the right side of the napper so feel free to play around with it and these are all available in documentation just check out the utilities and all yeah so we are ready with our napper and let's just import it on the home page and let's see if we are getting any error or anything so i hope it's gonna auto import and yes let's save it and yeah yeah it's our napper and as you can see and these are all for the css and if i click on this about as you can see we are in the about page which we will design soon and actually let's just do it first you know it's uh, we are already done so if i remove it and keep an app component here let's say this and about and this is home if you check out this url you can see now see we are in the about page so now we'll design the pages and all but here is our napper and this fonts and background color uh, coming from the you know css file so feel free to check out the source code if you are looking for this designs now so now we are done with our uh, napper next inside home component we are going to create a uh, background image component and this uh, part is going to be a little bit tricky and that's because here we will be using api and that's a pixabay image api to make our background dynamic so let me just copy the code from repository and i'll uh, tell you what's happening here and that's pretty much easy but it's a little bit tricky so let me just show you let me just paste it here and don't worry i'll tell you what's happening here but let me just first import two main thing there's a this use effect and use it just the hooks we're gonna use here so let me save it and here so first as you can see we have a background image here which is coming from google just a link and we are just saving this uh, url in a variable background img and here we are using use state to uh, you know save the background photo and to set the background photo we are using use effect and here we are uh, counting the images so le uh, let new count and we are setting up an interval and the new count equals to math.flow and math.random in, into 10 into 11 and that means it's gonna give me number between 0 to 10 so then we are fetching the data and here as you can see we have a pixabay api with a key it will you can these are my keys so uh, just try to not copy it and uh, you can get your if you are it's freely available in every in pixabay websites and just just uh, you know call, uh, log in for the api they will give you a key so uh, if you are using my one you, it, it won't work so <laughs> just use your api key then we are just uh, converting the response into a JSON file, just pretty much standard stuff. Then uh, we are getting the data and we are setting this background photo. And how we are doing this and we are doing this here, like data, which is this data we are getting, which is available in Pixabay API. And in this count, we are using this as an array. And this array number is coming from this new count, which we are, ran which we are randomly calculating in math.floor. Then here we are getting this large image URL as our image. So I know it's a little bit confusing. Let me tell you again. So as you can see, we are using use state here, and here we have a background photo, and we are setting this background photo, which I I mean, which is pretty much easy stuff. If you have used use a state before, you will know that how it's work. And here we are uh, saving an URL for the, in the background IMG, and just keep this thing in mind. It has nothing to do with this. It's just I'll tell you what it's doing here. Then we are using an use effect. Uh, hooks and here we are declaring a variable new count and setting an interval and in uh, in, this, in that interval we are you know saving uh, data inside that new count variable 
and the data is uh, we are getting from him uh, from the math function which is math.floor and math.random and we are uh, getting the data between 0 to 10 after that we are just fetching it and we have an api here which is a pixabay api and you can get it from pixabay api website so it's pretty much easy there then just then the standard stuff we are uh, converting the response uh, into response.json file and then we are getting the data and there we are get, uh, getting this data with the hits and hits is available inside uh, pixab api and these are, and the hits are actually the array the total array of the pixab images and there we are getting the large url from that array now this new count is the number like the array index which we use like if i have it like let, let me show you it's zero if i do that then it will give me the first uh, first value first image so if I do hits, excuse me, this is hits, yeah. So if, if we do this, we will get the first image. If we do 10, we will get the 11th image. And if we are doing 8 or 1, we will do the second image. So it's pretty much easy stuff. If we have worked with array JavaScript, then you will know how it works. So yeah, that's it. And this is what we are doing here. Instead of, uh, you know, uh, keeping the value static we are keeping it dynamic and it's coming from this math.random function and we are just setting an interval of 10,000 milliseconds so that we get uh, an update after 10 seconds and it get, the image get changes because it will give me a different value like first time it's giving me one so we are getting the first uh, second value second image from the large image url and the second time maybe it's giving me a value of seven so we'll get the eighth image from this array so i hope you understood it because it's not tough it's just a little bit tricky and uh, i just uh, trying to do something mm, different with this uh, api and javascript so i came up with this idea so let me know what you think about it then uh, here we are just uh, uh, unsubscribing to the method so that it stop uh, listening to this api call after a certain time when it doesn't need it so if you are still con uh, confused about it i just made a brief uh, my I recently made a video on uh, you know use effect and use state with uh, react and bootstrap 5 so you can check out that video it's uh, it's my previous video so yeah let's check it out now here we are returning our code that's uh, and that is nothing but standard jsx but just we are just using the itinerary operator and here it's we are using we are going to use this background img but before that as you can see this is the background photo so so these uh, these are all different so let's keep them in mind so if we have a background photo which is uh, coming from here this api if we have it which we don't have on the first time now why we don't have it because first time when we are when we are opening our websites uh, uh, it will take 10 seconds to uh, get its first interval so what we will do then that will come later but if we have photo then we will uh, just you know do the style a background image and the url and this background photo is coming from the state and if we don't have any images uh, opening our website we are not gonna get any image or have any image because because it's gonna take 10 seconds as we are using the set interval methods of javascript so here we are gonna use this background image with url background img and this is the link you can use any other link or if you have any images so you can use it here i just copied it from google for a demonstration purpose and we are gonna make it a background image and after that if you see we have some little bit text and all so let me just understand it more properly add it on the home component i mean home page sorry and this is background image component let's import it and let's have it here so here we have it and if i wait for 10 seconds and i know 10 seconds is little more time let's just uh, wait for 10 seconds and let's see what's ha what happened see it's happening so so now let me show you one more thing here and that is if i delete this link and as you can see we have no image for the first time but we will get it after 10 seconds so let's just wait for 10 seconds and let's see what happens okay it's taking some time and here we are so we have our first image here and after 10 more seconds we'll see the second image and it will work unless you refresh it so yeah it's working perfectly so we'll just keep this background image if we don't have any image for the first time we'll get this uh, background image so yeah it's working fine this is a 
perfectly working. So let's just see what we can do next. Okay. So next we'll work on a welcome text component. So let's just create uh, one more component and which will be welcome component and there is nothing uh, tough in it and we just use a container and all. So let me just copy it from a repository and I'll tell you what's happening here. So let me just click it, let me paste it. I'm gonna save this. So first tell you what's happening here. I'm gonna do one more thing that I'll come to later. That is this image thing. So as you can see, we have a container with a class name with container and container TM, which is you know uh, padding top, and there we get and the text center to keep all the text in center. And here we are using this padding padding bottom of 15 of a style so that we get it and it's an inline style, so we get a little bit of padding in bottom. Then we have this image with class name and width and alt course and after a h1 tag with custom font and margin top of 50 pixel and then uh, we have this class name with paragraph and para class name with this little paragraph and a hr and here we are using mx auto so that we can keep this hr in the middle of our in page and i'll show you how is it happening and then we have a little button with button custom so first thing we need to do here and that is just let me you know inside source folder we are going to create a new folder called assets and inside assets i'm going to copy some image so just let me copy it and as you can see here i have three images and i'm just going to import the first one and let's let me add it in the home page after this background image it will be welcome component let me import it and save this so let's see if it's working and here it is so it's working fine and if you can see this properly uh, okay so it's not covering so we have an hr here so i don't know if you are able to see that but, and, but it's here and we have this text in centers because we are using text centers and this hard now button and again to keep this hr thing in the middle make sure you are using this mx auto otherwise it will go to the left side of your page so yeah we are done with the welcome section and it's pretty much a basic section so next we have a parallax component let's just create a new component and let me just copy my code from repository i don't want to waste your time and this thing is easier than others so let me show you what's happening here so we have a class name parallax and then we have a container after that some custom font white and text center text with padding top of 150 pixel then we have the stars for the review and rating section and little you know paragraph with uh, image which we are using the image logo and it's just i got it from google for the most present purpose i'm not gonna use it in production level or anything after that we have this name of this news article so yeah it's pretty much basic things now if i go to this home page and add this parallax effect Sorry, parallax component with parallax effect. We should have it here. And here we have it. It's working fine. And this all designs are coming from uh, CSS we have added before. So, in case if you are finding anything confusing, just uh, make sure you are seeing the class name here and just uh, you know find the class name here. We'll see what uh, design we are using and what the CSS we are using. So, yeah, just basic things okay so after parallax section we are gonna build one more section which will be hire me so let's just create it first component again let me just copy it this because we are gonna we are gonna have some section division here so let me save this so we have a container with background and then after that we have another container and then we have row with text center and after that we are gonna have some same section one after another and that is with this column small six so if you see it, this is the first section with the image and why hire me and after that we have the same section with different icon and uh, you know headings and paragraphs so with this column sm6 and if a higher yeah you know how it works but the thing we need here we have i have to import this higher image so let me just import it here import uh, have this link in flat line and we'll set this now we'll just add this um, hire me component in this adverb.js sorry the home page new component auto imported 
it and here we have it but we have a little bit problem with the icon and that's I'm gonna fix it right now and we have this problem here I didn't notice sorry but I wanna fix it right now and the problem we are having that's because we haven't added the font custom CDN and I'm just gonna add it here you can just google it for bootstrap font custom CDN and you'll get it I'm just gonna go to this index.html and I'm gonna paste it here let's save this and should work and here we have all the icons we have added before so yeah just add the cdn path and it will work fine so yeah so now we are done with our welcome parallax and hiring section also the background image and it's time to build our gallery section so let's just build it to be a functional component again i'm just gonna grab my code from repository let's just remove it and here and again we are gonna use this you know uh, pixab api for fetch to fetch the images here let me save this word and here that's we are gonna import use state and after that we are gonna import use effect and here it is so um, after the and if you see here we have two and we have we are using use state here and here we are uh, Fetching data by using use effect from Pixabay API and then in a standard process we are going to just convert the response in a JSON format, JSON file and after that we are just in setting the photo is equal to data dot hits and hits are coming from the Pixabay API again you can check it out Pixabay API just search in search Google Pixabay API you will get it there. so I am not just going to console.log it again so I will just omit it out and after that if you we have a container with container bg and dm then just uh, you know a custom font with h1 tag and a icon with fa photo i'm going to show you how it's looking and we have a text gallery with h1 heading then we are we have a hr which is using mx auto class to keep it in center then we are using a, uh, another container and a row after that we are using a map function because we have photos now because we are fetching all the photos from Pixabay API and after that we are just uh, setting photo or uh, the data dot hits which is nothing but a arrays of objects so here we are just using a map function to go through it and we are just outputting it and everything else here and there we have a button with few more nothing else and other thing like this image gallery the class name this is important because it's gonna give us the filter we are using like this um, grayscale free filter I have shown you in the beginning so let's just save this and I'm gonna import it in our home page with this and as you can see we have it here and it's pretty much happening for the CSS everything else this all are happening for the CSS so feel free to check out the index.css file and if I show you we have an IMG gallery IMG uh, here we have a width of 500 pixel and height also we have border solid 0.5 pixel and a top margin and a filter grayscale and we are having a transition duration of 0.5 seconds and a hover effect where we have no filter so if I show you as you can see it's um, removing the grayscale filter but it's taking some time that's because of the transition so yeah it's uh, it's looking great and this is the gallery with the icon and uh, pretty much it and that's all we have for the gallery so now we are done with the gallery section and we have testimonial section let's create the testimonial component and we are going to use a carousel here and here we are just going to use a carousel with a background image and yeah that's all we need here and let me save it if i uh, we have to add the urls here so let me just take the url and i'm going to put it here so i have added some link as you can see and let me just save this now add this component in the home page so inside home page inside home page we are gonna add it here and it will be testimonial component and let's save this and, and as you can see we have this cursor here with these images if you have more better image feel free to go with it but yeah just a background image and some text icon with so yeah we are done with the testimonial section let's see what we have next next we have this uh, block section after testimonial 
which is kind of a same like testimonial so you just create it and and again these are the pretty much asx it's kind of the same like html if you are not familiar with it and it, you should go for react first because i'm not going to explain it uh, the whole thing here and because it's going to take much more time and i know you don't like it if you are familiar with react because you are already know what is class name and what is time to take I, I i don't need to discuss img tag and class name so let me save it for you and i'm thinking this links are broken kind of so let me just find some other links so yeah it's just as you can see we have some margin in top and a small c column small six so that it take half of the column and we have a card here with image and card body title and text and all of that same with this one this two both cards are same so you can use api and using use map func map for for each to loop through them but i'm just gonna i just wanted to add only two cards so i just added it in a static way so there's nothing else i had to do there so let me just import it here and let me see if it's working fine or not let me set this and here we have two blocks so yeah we the images are kind of uh, different here so that's why the widths are having some problem but yeah it's okay if you can arrange images with same width and all then you can go with it no problem so this is all we kind of a need here and i'm just gonna add a little form uh, form component functional component i'm just gonna remove this let me just paste it here and yeah, it's pretty much a basic form so one thing we have, that is this uh, image where we have to import it here let me import this for you import image and it will come from asset folder slash it's a uh, content creation yeah and let me save this component let me import it and let's just save it and let's save and yeah so basic stuff and it's done and last but not least i'm just gonna add a footer here to make it a little bit more beautiful and standard so let me just create a footer component again if you guys want a detailed explanation of this uh, videos is tags and jsx all you can check out my full react courses it's available on youtube for free with materialized css we, i didn't use bootstrap there but uh, there you will understand all of the basic stuff like JSX syntax and uh, you know component, functional component, class component, the differences, the state and all. But uh, in this tutorials, this you know font and design tutorials, I'm not gonna uh, explain all this to you because it will take much more time. And I, I know uh, most of you are not here to see that you are just here to understand how those designs are working and how you can build a website with React. So uh yeah and just let me know in the comment section what you think i mean, I mean you want me to uh, explain it uh, explain the whole thing to you it'll take a little much more time like uh, two or three hours or you just want the uh, codes and just want to know how it's happening that's all so if you are in the intermediate level i think that this tutorials will not be a problem for you but in case if you're in the beginner level i know it maybe it is kind of a tough for you to follow along but yeah just let me know what do you think and and i'll keep it that way so yeah we are there's a little photo section as you can see we have a division with uh, background dark this bg dark class name is coming from the bootstrap 5 uh, class name so it's uh, pre-built then we have a little footer and i have this inline style with color white and padding 5 and this h6 with a custom font and text center a copyright and my name that's it that's all we need for the home page and i'm just gonna go to this home page and i'm gonna add this footer component at the end mm, it should auto import and it's auto imported let's see so yeah we have the footer here and we are kind of ready with our home page and we are done actually we're done with our home page last thing i'm gonna do is the about page because we have little work in the about page we don't have a huge thing to do but the home page is done so we already have the navbar components here so inside this about component i am gonna create a header component and this div will have a class name of bg and after that we are gonna have a style and with background image 
as you can see we have a link here um, let me set this we need a container division with container class name after that we need another div with row class name of row so yeah row after that we just need a column with some text so here we have some about me text and youtube.com and the hr with mx auto so that we can get it in middle and i think that's all we need for the header yes and inside about page we are just going to import this header enter component and i'm just going to save it it's looking nice so let's just uh, add a text add some text in this about section and we're going to create a component called a body component let me remove this and let me press the here so let me just save this and tell you what's happening here as you can see i have an image and this is the author image i just it, got it from google just for a demonstration purpose feel free to use your own image here and then i have my name and little paragraph with lorem ipsum text and some icons and these are the icons for social media and i have a little hr here yeah that's it that's all i have for that about page and let me just import the body component and end let me just add footer as well and we already already have footer here and i'm just going to save it and if we see now yeah we have it here at the home we have the about and let's just let's see if the mobile version is working like if it's mobile responsive or not as you can see it's totally mobile mobile responsive and it's working fine i mean yeah it's kind of a good looking great I think let me know what you think about this design i just made it like that i mean didn't plan it at all i think it's looking good we have this blogs as well stay connected a little form with you know the copyright and all but let's see if it's working yeah we have this about okay all the icons and yeah it's working fine i think yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about this design and what is what you think about this video and if you enjoyed this or not and uh, thank you for the 100 subscribers guys i'm trying to make this youtube thing a little more better than before but i'm not sure how much successful i am with that i'm just trying hard uh, and yes as i told before i'm gonna dip, uh, show you how you can deploy this uh, how you can deploy this site for free and i'll show you that in next video so please subscribe to my channel and just check it out if it's already out or not <laughs> by the time you are watching this video so yeah i'll show you in next video how you can deploy it so that's it that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed it and or not and uh, i'll uh, see you in next video bye